Hello guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel InfoTech People. This is episode 3 of our brand new series on how to install Power MTA with Vesta Control Panel and MailWiz email marketing application. In this episode we will learn how to install MailWiz email application on Linux server. In previous episodes we learned how to update CentOS Linux distribution and install Vesta control panel. This is our MailWiz license key and installation files in zip package which we purchased from Envato market. Extract this zip package here. Now you can see extracted folder of latest version of MailWiz installation files. In this folder you can see two folders named latest and update. We don't need update folder at the moment because we are doing fresh installation. We are inside latest folder. Select all folders and files and create a zip file. Name this file to mail was 196.zip. Move this folder to our MailWiz folder. Now open WinSCP and log into VPS again. Now we are logged into both WinSCP and PuTTY. Click root directory button in WinSCP. Click on home directory. Click on admin directory. Click on web directory. Click on mailing apps.club directory. And click on public underscore HTML directory. This is a place we need to upload the mailwiz196.zip file. Delete index.html and robot.txt files. To upload file, you can simply drag and drop the file inside public underscore html directory. Click OK to start uploading files. Now zip file is uploaded to public underscore html directory and we need to unzip this file. Click right button of mouse on directory path and select copy path to clipboard. Now go to PuTTY and right cd space and right click the mouse button to paste path and click enter. Now we are in same folder as WinSCP. Check files in directory. Now unzip the file by issuing command unzip mail was 196.zip. Now all files are extracted from mailwiz196.zip. Go to WinSCP and refresh folder. Now you can delete mailwiz196.zip to free up the space.
Now open browser and visit mailingapps.club slash install slash to start installation of MailWiz. Here we have to provide our MailWiz license information. We buy this license from Envato Marketplaces. Here is our MailWiz license key. Agree with terms and condition. Click Next. At this step, MailWiz check the server configuration which they required for installation, and our server have all the things they needed. Click Next. At this step, MailWiz check the file permissions and unfortunately, our server needs to fix manually. We will use shell command to fix these file permissions. Open WinSCP and log into server. Copy chmod 0777. Paste in shell by clicking the right mouse button. Now copy file path. And paste here after space and press enter. Now the first file permission is set as per mailwiz requirement. You can do rest by repeating the same steps. Please watch carefully. Please watch carefully. Please watch carefully. Please watch carefully. Now all required file permission fixed, click on check again. Great. We fixed all required permission. Now click next for further installations. At this step, we need a database credentials to install MailWiz. First we must create a database in Vesta control panel. Log into Vesta control panel. Click on DB. 
Click on Add Database. In Database section write your desired name of database. Please note that database name and database username is followed after prefix admin underscore. Copy database name and Paste in database name section of MailWiz. In database user section write your desired name of database user. Copy database user. And paste in username section of MailWiz. Create your desired password and copy. Click on add button to create the database. Now database is created successfully. Now back to MailWiz and paste database password which we set during database creation in Vesta CP. Table prefix should remain same. Click on Start Importing to import the initial data in MailWiz database. Now importing process completed successfully. In this section we will set admin credentials. Write your first name and last name. Email should be active email address. Set. Your administrator password as desired. Set time zone as required. And also create first customer with same data. And click on create account. These are the cron jobs which we must need to add on our server. There are total 7 cron jobs to add in server. Copy this part of first cron job. Go to Vesta control panel. And click on cron. Click add cron job. Paste here the command which we copied from MailWiz. First cron job must run each minute so select every minute. And click on generate button. Finally click on add button to add this cron job in server. Now add remaining cron jobs in same way. Please watch video carefully. Please watch video carefully.
Please watch video carefully. Please watch video carefully. Please watch video carefully. Please watch video carefully. Now all 7 cron jobs are added in server. Click on cron jobs are installed, continue. Congratulations! Mail was email marketing application installed successfully. Last and final step to delete install folder. Go to WinSCP and delete this folder. Now click on backend to login as administrator and configure the MailWiz application. Write your email address and admin password which we provide during installation. Click login button. Here is your dashboard. We will configure bounce server and delivery server after the installation of Power MTA. Thanks for watching this part of tutorial and stay tuned for episode 4. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel Info Tech People.